this is the type of fiber is Wensleydale, which is a long wool. And it has a, a different technique when it's felted. The locks will show. And we begin by doing a circle. And then what we'll do is uh, get it wet with warm water and a little soap. Okay. Into your lines. <coughs> so before we can continue with um, the flower, we need to have the stem. Um, Felted, so I just used some wool roving. Um, this is called roving versus uh, that. It's already carded, all the fibers are growing in one way. And we want this to be a, a hard stem if possible. So I put water and soap on it. And now I'm trying to get it round. I'm trying to tell it to turn round. So first I'm just rolling it gently like dough so it knows to not flatten out and be round. Huh? You can see how I pressed out the air and once I, it knows to stay round I'm gonna apply harder pressure. I'm kind of compacting the flour. I'm dipping it in water and soap. That's what we need, warm water and soap for the fibers to get entangled and get harder and harder. So here we go. I'm gonna push them together. <laughs> and I'm trying to keep this part as unwetted and unfelted as possible because those are the fibers that I want to felt to the flower. Okay, so this is now ready um, for the underside of the flower. Still completely unfelted fibers. And we'll go over the flower if we can. We can pull it a little bit. Huh? So let's pull them. And I'm trying to tell the right here on the stem part. This is where I want it to stay. We're gonna try and rub all the layers together, and um, we're gonna hold it together with a bubble wrap, so we can apply a lot of pressure. There we go. So now we're gonna lay the stem to the side and make sure we never pull on it. And we're going to start working on first. I'm making sure that the leaves and the stem part here knows where it's going to stay. And it'll shrink in the direction that you rub it. So since I'm going lengthwise, it's going to shrink this way. So that, that's attached. No. Hold the stem on so you don't pull. And then turn it, flip it. And now you're going to rub the other side. Now, um, if we wanted a clean edge, so it's not just fibrous, you know, go with your finger around the perimeter and just bend all the fibers down so they know where they need to fold to. So now that all the, the fibers know where they're supposed to lay, you can actually start to shrink it together. So we are trying to bring the fibers together. So we are protecting it. We still have bubble wrap on both sides. So now we're going to squish out all the extra soap and we're going to work it like bread dough. Um, hoping that all the fibers are coming together. And then we're gonna 
open it again. And you can see how the bubble wrap protected the layers, but this is all kind of starting to stick. Huh? You can see the leaf is sticking in the back. Um, and we can start doing the same thing huh? without the bubble wrap. Huh? You want to do it? And see how we want to work out the soap. Now it's more about muscle power and heat to shrink it than the soap to help us glide the fibers together. There we go, it's coming. And the beauty of the wool fibers is um, once I know I want this, about this lacy, I'll shape it and then I'm going to hold it uh, with a rubber band or something in the shape I want it to be. If I let it dry in that shape, the wool will hold its memory and it will stay like this until it gets wet again. <laughs> in the rain, you have to watch it. <laughs>